just yesterday, I was on Clubhouse. And I was ministering with my friend, Apostle Stephanie Mines on Clubhouse. My goodness, the poor was insatiable. The prophetic release, the word of the Lord, the power of God was so undeniable. I ministered on the Mimshak anointing, Dominion, Mashal, because this is a season where you are going to experience dominion and take over in every area of your life. If you receive it today, say amen. Now I want you to give some hearts and likes. Help the atmosphere and the algorithm of this live broadcast to go forth today. Amen. So I'm telling you, friends, what God's doing right now, it truly is the hand of God. They tried to stop you, but God's going to bless you. They tried to put a damper and a hamper on your forward movement and motion. But the spirit of the living God is bringing justice and judgment. And I want to declare from you, I want to declare for you today over your life that God is releasing the camels. I'm telling you, camels are coming. There is going to be a Middle Eastern oil and the wealth of the Middle East. The blessings of Abraham, the blessings of Israel are about to come forward to you. I want to prophesy because we know that here in the end of the year time, of course, Christmas, <clears throat> although the origins of Christmas is a pagan holiday, but we know it glorifies Jesus. Amen. And many countries around the world, it's not a Western uh, commercial consumerist time, but in many countries around the world, it really is an opportune time to preach the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, of who Jesus is. Hallelujah. Um, like I remember one time I was in a country, which I'm not going to reveal here today uh, for security purposes, but I was living in a country for three months, communist country. And during Christmas time, I was part of a Korean choir where we were singing Christmas songs on live national television in this communist country. If I name, it's the biggest communist country in the world. All right. And it starts with the letter C. But I was part of this Korean choir group and we were singing Christmas songs on national television in this large communist country starts with the letter C. And there were governors and politicians in that room. Amen. So Christmas, of course, is an opportune time to preach Jesus and to preach the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. So I want you to say good news because good news is coming to you. The good news of Jesus Christ. No more bad news. No more fake news. News of doom and gloom. The world is falling. The economy is crashing. We already know what's happening because we have a witch in the White House right now. We have an impotent uh, witch that is warlock in the White House and in many seats of government in the United States and in different countries around the world. But there is an uprising. There is a revolution. There is a remnant of people that's rising and we're going to take the house back. We're gonna take the house back, I'm telling you. We are going to see a move of God and a revival in America and the nations of the earth. Someone shout hallelujah. So I'm telling you, good news is coming. Someone say good news. Good news is coming to your family. I prophesy as a man of God, good news is coming to your family. And the reason why I'm talking about Christmas is because we understand the story of Jesus. The three wise men came before baby Jesus. We know the story in the gospels. The three wise men, okay, came to baby boy Jesus right after the birth uh, the nativity scene of Yeshua in Bethlehem. And remember, Bethlehem, Bethlehem, uh, Bethel means the house of God in Hebrew. And Ham actually means bread. So Bethlehem means the house of bread. It means the house of God and the house of bread. God's house always has bread. God's house always has Torah, has word, abundance, supply, food for the nations. Amen. Come on, if you receive that, say hallelujah. But we understand the story where Jesus was born in the manger in Bethlehem, the house of bread, the city of bread, is Karabrata. And we understand that there were three wise men, all right, three wise men. And some scholars say there were more wise men than just three. 
But where we get the understanding or the belief of three wise men is because there were three gifts. Ooh, I feel the Lord. There were three gifts that were brought to baby boy Jesus. All right. The gold, the hyssop, and the frankincense. The gold, the hyssop, and the frankincense. All right. Now, this is three realms of the Godhead. The Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And this is also the three offices of the kingdom. The kingly, the priestly, and the prophetic. And it also stands for uh, the death, the burial, and the resurrection. Amen. So the three gifts were brought to baby boy Jesus at his birth. And historians believe that, of course, when these three wise men brought gifts before the Lord baby boy Jesus. Were they riding on a horse? Were they riding on a donkey? Most likely they were riding on camels. Someone say camels. And I want to prophesy to you, the camels are coming. Provision is coming. Abundance, supply is coming. And it's going to be a caravan of camels. One by one by one, it's going to keep coming. The blessings of God are going to keep coming. Open doors are going to keep coming. I'm telling you, things are stepping into a perpetual level, a perpetual realm, which means breakthrough after breakthrough. One seed opens up a tree. One tree opens up a garden. One garden becomes a forest. One forest becomes a nation. So there are perpetual. And what does perpetual mean? It means it keeps continuing. It keeps happening. It doesn't stop. Help me to break the 300 mark today, people of God. Amen. So there are perpetual blessings coming to you. And even during the birth of Jesus, there were three gifts that were given. The wise men came, gathered from all around. Come on, somebody. Some people believe that these were actually angelic beings. Um, some people believe that they are gatekeepers. They are literal uh, angelic gatekeepers of different regions. Hallelujah. And they brought gifts on camels. I want to declare over you, friends, that the camels are coming and that gifts are going to be released to you. Gifts from the Father. Gifts from the Lord Jesus Christ. Gifts from the Holy Ghost. There's going to be gifts from all around, from nations that are going to come to you. Come on, if you're receiving today, say amen and give me some hearts and likes. There's going to be gifts being released to you. And I'm telling you, friends, the camels are coming in this end of the year season. And in 2023, the camels are coming. I want to prophesy because many of you watching today, you are stepping into a year and a season where you will never have to worry about money again. You will never have to worry about money. Again. And of course, Jesus says, do not worry. That's one of the most repeated commandments, instructions, uh, all throughout the New Testament. Do not worry. Do not fear. But I want to prophesy that many of you are stepping into a season where you will never, ever have to worry about money again. If you receive it, say, I receive it. You will never, ever have to worry about money again. You will never, ever, because, hear me now, because of the seeds you've sown in the last five, ten years. Because of the seed you've sown, because of your faithfulness, because of your secret prayers, because of your sacrifice, because of all that you've done in the last seasons, it is now bearing fruit. It is now coming alive. It is now springing forth. Do you not perceive it? For it springs forth from a distance. For I am doing a new thing, says God. The old has passed and the new has come. Do you not perceive it? It springs forth from the wilderness. So many of you are stepping into a season where you will never have to worry about money again. But let me tell you, it's a fear of God thing. We must fear the Lord. We don't worship money. We don't, Id we don't idolize. But of course, we need it. You need it. We all need substance. Harabrata. And the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And he will add all things, these things to you. Are you ready for God to add, to plus, to bless, to give, to be adjoined, combined? 
It's going to be added and combined unto you. Like the armor of God. The armor is added on, put on to your body. It is adjoined. It becomes a part of you. Becomes a piece of you. There's an intermingling. There's an intertwining and intermixing. There is a becoming of one. Hanababo. And friends, even in midst of what's going to happen in the world, we understand there's a battle. We understand there is a war. You have to be blind to think that everything is A-OK. -okay. You have to be blind and ignorant, drinking the spirit of stupor and the spirit of Kool-Aid to think, to be deceived that everything is OK. It's not OK. There is a collapse in the economy. There is a shaking of worldwide countries, nations, governments, all set up by the Worldwide Economic Forum, by the Illuminati, by the globalists on top, the cabal, evil, demonic agenda. But this move of the wealth of the wicked coming to you, the righteous, it cannot be stopped. This move, someone say move, this move of the wealth of the wicked coming to the people of God, it cannot and it will not be stopped. But how is that going to happen? It's going to happen by the camels coming. It's going to happen, hear me now, by new things being birthed. Jesus was birthed as a boy, as a human boy, as a human being. Yeshua was birthed. So new things, when things are birthed from your spirit, when things are birthed from your life, then the camels begin to come and a provision begins to come. If you're following me today, I want to say amen. And give us some hearts and lights. Because God is birthing a new thing. God is birthing a new thing. And I want to declare to you that 2023 is going to be filled with new things for your life. It's going to be filled with new blessings. New glory. New miracles. New opportunities. New, new, new. Someone say new. The new is coming to the church and to the world. Those people who do not step into the new, you will be stuck in the old wineskin and you will continue to miss out on what God wants to pour out. But if you are born again, again, if you are born again and birth anew and afresh, hallelujah, if you become new in your mind, in your heart, in your vision, in the anointing, in the mantle, if you become new, then you will experience the abundance, the camels of God. If you're following me today, say amen. I'm telling you, friends, the camels are coming. Glory be to God, the camels are coming. And in 2023, we understand three in the Hebrew. Three in the Hebrew. It is gemel and it is camel. And praise God, friends, we just broke the 300 number. So praise the Lord. As I'm talking about the number three, we just broke the 300 number. Someone say three. Shandalabata. Three in Hebrew is Gemel. And Gemel also stands for camel. It stands for the animal. That is the camel. And the camel is a prophetic animal. It is an ancient animal. The camel is what brings blessings, substance. It is a sign of wealth and prosperity. The camel, Gemel, it is a sign of blessings going through the wilderness. I said through. It's going through the wilderness. You are going through the wilderness. You are going through the wilderness. You are going through the wilderness. I said you, you are going through the wilderness. And the camels Carry the blessings of God through the wilderness into the land of promise. Amen. This year, 2023, will be a year of promise for you. Promise is fulfilled. Do you believe it? If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, give me some hearts and likes. This will be a year where the camels are coming. And it's going to keep coming and keep coming. I'm reminded of the story of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. The queen of Sheba heard about the blessing, the abundance, the wealth of King Solomon. Now we're at 333, bang. And the queen of Sheba came 
to hear because she heard. I want you to catch this. The queen of Sheba heard about the wealth, the wisdom, the abundance of King Solomon. So she traveled and she came to see and she saw that it was true. There's a verse in the book of Job. My ears have heard of you, but now my eyes have seen. My ears have heard of you, but now my eyes have seen. Are you ready to see? Praise God, people of God. This broadcast is just multiplying right now. We are jumping up. Look at that. We are about to break 500 in Jesus' name. Look at that. It's just jumping up. Someone give the Lord a mighty shout and some hearts and likes. Amen. So this is a season where there's going to be mega increase, mega harvest. This is a season, Shekarabata, where everything in your life is going to step into the oil of God, the abundance of God, everything in your life, everything you put your hands to, everything you say yes to. That's why you and I, we must be so careful of what we align ourselves with, what we open the door of our hearts to. Come on, somebody. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. This is a season where God is saying that even as the queen of Sheba came all the way to see what King Solomon was all about, guess what? She was blessed. She brought gifts to the king. She brought gifts to the man of God. But I want you to hear this. The queen of Sheba brought gifts to the man of God, King Solomon. And as she did so, she left with more. I'm trying to talk to you. She left with more. What does that mean? You came one way, but you leave different. You came one way, but you leave. You don't leave empty handed. You're leaving with prosperity and abundance. I want to talk to you right now. You may have entered 2022 broke, disgusted, and busted. But you are going to end 2022 with plunder, recompense, and abundance of God. You may have came into the world as a little baby, but you're going to leave this world full with the glory of God, releasing all that you have. Can I get a witness in this place? So the queen of Sheba came in one way, but left a different way. That's called transfiguration. That's called transformation. Instantly, come on. One word, one moment, one broadcast, one video, one Facebook Live. It can change the trajectory of your life. One year, one month. Come on, this is the year and the season. 2023 is the year where you're going to go in one way and you're going to go out a different way. You're going to come in thinking you're blessed, but you're going to go out mega blessed, super blessed. The Bible says that Isaac became rich and very rich, rich and more rich until he became very wealthy. Until he became very wealthy. He became rich and more rich. Until he became very wealthy. Do you know why? Because the Bible says the Lord was with him. People of God, the Lord is with you. Jesus, the Lord of hosts, Lord Shabbaoth, he is with you. Harabrata, someone say amen. Pray in the Holy Ghost, people of God. Rabba Baba, the Lord is with you. Jabba Kiresuta Brata, the Spirit of the Living God is breathing upon you. Shoo! And I want to declare over your life today that the camels are coming and you're going to go in one way. You're going to go out a different way. You're going to step in. It's 11 11 here in the, in the West Coast. You're going to step in one way and you're going to leave a different way. Come on, give me some hearts and likes. If you agree with this word, if you tap into the word of the man of God today, give me some hearts and likes right now. Shata la la bata. Because this is a season where the spirit of the living God is saying, get ready for the camels. Get ready for the caravan. Get ready for international wealth, international favor. Hanabrata. I'm telling you, the Lord's going to bless you in this season, in this new year, 2023. The camels are coming, people of God. The camels, the caravans. Things that you didn't even pray for are about to come to pass. Things that you didn't even ask for are about to be given to you. Things that you totally forgot about. You forgot about those prayers. You prayed five, seven, eight, ten years ago. You forgot about those prayers. But it's going to come to pass suddenly over your life. It's going to come to pass suddenly. I'm telling you, 2023, this is a year. 
of Psalm 23. 2023 is a year of Psalm 23. He's about to set up a table before you and your enemies. Come on, if you believe it, shout hallelujah and give it some hearts and lights. 2023 will be the year of Psalm 23, verse 5. You set a table before me and my enemies. Hallelujah. My cup runs over and you anoint my head with oil. I declare oil. I declare substance. I declare favor. I declare the anointing. I declare the fatness, the goodness of the Lord and of the land to be upon your head, to be upon your body, to be upon your life, to be upon your ministry, your business. Whoever the oil is falling, the oil is coming, the oil is dripping, the oil is manifesting. Somebody say the oil. The oil is coming forth. And it's the oil, the anointing of God, the glory of God, the favor of God that breaks yokes. The oil of the Lord is what breaks yokes, is what destroys strongholds. It's the oil, the anointing, the Holy Ghost. Shoo! It's the Holy Spirit that breaks yokes. Come on, you got to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. You need to be in the spirit, to catch what the spirit of God is saying. You cannot be in a carnal, religious, fleshly mind. You need to be in the spirit to catch, to receive what the man of God is saying, because this is spiritual. This is not carnal, this is spiritual things. Hallelujah. The oil of favor, the oil of gladness, the oil will define you, the oil will cause you to break through the oil. Hallelujah. The oil. Someone say the oil. Jesus, Jesus, I see fresh oil. I see new oil. I see the glory of God coming over you. God is about to anoint you afresh. Many of you, you've been dead. You've been dry. You've been waiting. You've been crying out to God. You need a fresh touch, a fresh word, a fresh encounter. I'm telling you. Receive the oil, the fire, the favor of the Lord. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive fire of the Holy Ghost. The oil is what breaks the yoke of poverty. The yoke of every addiction. The yoke, the bondage, the chains. Zebaka of every demonic attack. It's the oil. And the oil is coming, people of God. Someone say new oil. There is a new oil, a new release coming to you. And this year, 2023, three in Hebrew is Gamel, which stands for camel. The Lord is bringing the camels. Amen. You become stronger. You become wiser. You've been purged and tested through the fires of life. In the last few years, you've gone through the tests of life. If that's you, say amen. You've gone through the tests of life. Hallelujah. So the Lord has purged you. The Lord has tested you. And he has proven you to be his. He has proven who you are. You have been proven and approved. You've shown yourself approved. You've shown yourself as a true son, daughter, child of God. Amen. So therefore, the Lord is releasing the oil. The number three in Hebrew is Gemel, which stands for camel. This year, the camels are coming to you. This year. He sees you. He knows you. He loves you. He trusts you. I want to prophesy right now. I have not prophesied over individuals here on Facebook Live in a long time. And there's a reason for that. But Prophet Chelsea, I want to prophesy over you from Canada. You were also hosting me in Vancouver, Canada in the month of January. But I see the favor of God over your life. Even as you are stretching yourself, stepping out of the boat to receive me and to host me, get ready for what God's going to do in your life. Get ready for double doors of favor, double open doors, opportunity, breakthrough. Hallelujah. 555 five, five, right now. Come on, help us to break the 600 mark. Prophet Chelsea, the Lord's going to bless you. The Lord's going to reward you and honor you. And the Lord is going to reward you publicly. All the good you've done in secret to the poor, to the lowly, to the least of these. 
doing good deeds to this person, that person. So because of all those good deeds, with you desiring nothing ill will, there's no false intention. It was just out of the goodness of your heart. Therefore, the Lord's going to bless you and reward you publicly. Amen. If you receive it, say amen. If you want me to prophesy over you today, I want you to say pray for me. But friends, the camels are coming. The wealth of the nations, the wealth of the kingdoms are coming. You will never have to worry about money again. Shoo. Many of you are stepping into a mega season. Entrepreneurialism. Executive anointing. God setting you up for you to prosper and to advance like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say the camels are coming. Angels are being released right now. I just saw angels being released to you right now in the name of Jesus. Shoo, shoo. Mm. Ruskata. Jesus. Rababosata. Abilene. I want to pray for you, Abilene, my Filipino family in the UK. Abilene, lift up your hands. The Lord says, get ready for an effectual door to open, even by the end of this year. By the end of this year, get ready for a call. Get ready for a message, an inbox. By the end of this year, an effectual door, Abilene, will open up for you and your family. By the end of this year, says God. By the end of 2020. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Come on. If you're in the glory of God with me right now, just abide in the Lord. Ride the waves of his heart. Shoo. Ruska Tarablata. If you want me to pray for you, come and pray for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Erin Tan. There is a blessing coming to you, Erin Tan. And he's going to bless your family. You, Your heart is for your family. Your heart is for your family. And you honor your mother and father so well, says God. So therefore, he's going to bless you. You, so you can be a blessing to your family. And I believe the Lord is saying to you, Erin Tan, get ready for the house. Get ready for the house. For more space, bigger space, for the right space. Amen. Jesus. Jababosa tarabrata teradoshata. Jababasa tarabrota. The camels are coming. The camels are coming. Zabash karabra tata satarabra. The camels are coming in 2023. The camels are coming, people of God. Raba se rado shatarabra ande rado sata. Ruska tarabra ta. Fire of the Holy Ghost. The camels are coming. So you better open up your gates, your ancient doors. Praise God, we got the UAE here. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Vicky, let me pray for you from the UAE. I love the UAE. I, I want to go back to Dubai this coming year. But Vicky from the UAE, I see an angel behind you. And this is, gonna, this is an angel of favor. And the Lord says, there's going to be great favor, connections, Businesses, business ideas, and wealth all around you and coming to you. Vicky from the UAE. You are going to be an influencer to influencers. You're going to be a Joseph and a Daniel to many influencers, says the Lord. Hababashita. And the Lord, Vicky, is going to put you in front of many leaders and influencers. And when you speak, Sister Vicky, it is going to shut the mouths of lions and haters. It's going to shut the mouths of boastful, arrogant, 
haughty people. For I will give you my word, says God. And you will be a spokesperson and an ambassador for me, says the Lord. So get ready to speak my word, my revelation, my interpretation of dreams and visions. For you will shock and amaze many all around you, says God. Hallelujah. For this angel of favor that's behind you is going to take you places, bring you before people that you never thought of, you never dreamed of, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Rabbi Sitarala. I saw Pastor Steve Mercado in the house. Pastor Steve, are you still here? I want to pray for you. If you're here, say, I'm still here. I want to pray for you, man of God. You've been a good friend of mine for years. Amen. Good friend of mine for years. And I want to say I'm proud of you, Pastor Steve, for stepping out in the word of the Lord in your destiny. Sure, Baba. Continue to share this broadcast, friends. Vanny Sharma from Samoa. You know, I'm coming to Samoa next year in July. But friends, share this broadcast. If you believe this is a word from God, a word for you, if this bore witness with you, then one of the ways you can bless the Lord and bless this ministry is by sharing this broadcast. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Steve Mercado, if you're still here, Otherwise, I'm going to move on. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Mascara blanda de de dosa tara blanda de dosa ta. Resara la basa tara bla. Jesus, manda rabo sa tarabra, raba sa tarabra. Thank you, Lord. But there's something about that name, Jesus. Raba babo sa ta. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, oh, there is something about that name. Hannah Pauli from Caraco, Dutch Caribbean. I want to pray for you. Hannah Pauli, for the Lord says you are longing for revival. You are crying out for a move of God. And he's going to give it to you. You are crying out for true friends, true ministry friends, ministry connections. And God's going to give it to you. Amen. He's going to give, he's going to release revival fire on you and through you in Jesus name. And every Jezebel spirit that tried to keep your mouth shut and come against you, it's going to get shut down in Jesus name. <clears throat> this lady, Sarah speaks, Sarah speaks. Hallelujah. The Lord says over you, Sarah speaks. Get some new shoes because you are about to move. You are about to walk. You are about to go places in the realm of the spirit. So get ready for new shoes, Sarah speaks. I see red high heels like Cindy Jacobs wears red high heels for the general's anointing. She has a ministry called God's Generals or Generals International, excuse me. And the Lord is going to anoint your walk. Even Sarah speaks to the Lord. I see a red carpet going before you, Sarah speaks. And the Lord says, get ready for the red carpet to be unraveled and unrolled before you and your eyes. Yeah, Baba, for I'm setting things up in the spirit, says God. I'm setting things up for you, for your breakthrough. And for your new season of advancement. For you will be a model and a role model. To many that is around you, says God. 
Somebody say the camels are coming. The camels are coming. They're coming to you, to your ministry, to your family, your business, your country. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. They're coming to you. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Amen. Well, people of God, thank you for jumping on today. I'm so glad you came. So glad to see you. What a powerful prophetic pour. It is an honor to minister the word of the Lord to you. If you like this broadcast, if you enjoy the grace that's on this ministry, please give us a like and a follow. Subscribe to this Facebook page. Amen. And also follow me on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram. Amen. But the camels are coming to you and it's going to be unstoppable. This is your year and this is your season. Hallelujah. And people of God, I also have an online group mentoring that's called 7M Glory Equip. I would love to mentor you, to equip you. In this mentorship group called 7M Glory Equip, you are part of an online family community from all around the world. And we have at least two Zooms together that we do every month. Let me tell you, these people in the 7M Glory Equip, which is my online mentorship group, these people are world changers, dynamic leaders. I believe in mentorship and I believe in discipleship. If you want to go to the next level, I would love to mentor you, and to walk with you, and to connect with you. Amen. 7M Glory Equip. Praise God. Well, friends, thank you so much for watching today. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And I'm so glad you joined us. Like I said, next week I will be in Dallas, Texas. And the week after that, I will be in Oahu and Kona, Hawaii. Aloha, shalom, love you, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. The link to join the 7M Glory Equip is right there. Click the link, friends. Click the link. We just pinned it to the top. Hallelujah. God bless you. The camels are coming. If you're blessed, say amen. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Follow this page, friends. Love you, bless you.